Question 5, 2 thirds times in parentheses 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 10. <coughs> Again, a nice trick for solving this is multiplying both sides by something to basically get rid of the fraction in the equation. Okay, so when we have fractions in equations or inequalities in this case, we do like to get rid of the fractions and that makes life easier, right? So how, what do you multiply, the question is, you know, what do you multiply two thirds by to get rid of it? You know, what, what will, you can multiply two thirds by what to get rid of it? So if we get rid of the two thirds, then the equation, the inequality is going to look a lot simpler and we can solve it, right? So we multiply by what's called the reciprocal. Do you, do you know what the reciprocal of two thirds is? The reciprocal is just the fraction flipped upside down. If you flip two thirds upside down, you would get three over two. Okay. If I multiply by the reciprocal, that's going to simplify this because, and I'll just write this out. But three times two obviously is six, and two times three is six. So six over six makes what? That makes one. So if I multiply by the reciprocal, I'm going to get a number one here for for these two fractions. We'll combine multiply to give number one and then it'll just be one uh, times 2x minus one is greater than or equal to right now if I multiply the left by 3 over 2 what should I do to the right of the inequality gotta do the same thing to both sides right so you must multiply the right by 3 over 2 also okay what's 10 times 3 over 2 it's like having 10 over 1 times 3 over 2. What does that make, right? Well, can't you cross cancel? 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 10 goes 5 times, right? What will that give us? 5 times 3 over 1. 5 times 3 is... Wouldn't that be 15? Okay. So when we multiply both sides by the reciprocal, we get 1 times 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to 15. We multiply it by a positive, which means the inequality stays the same direction. Okay. If you multiply 1 in here, you get 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to 15. We didn't even have to do that, but I, I was just making, just wanted to put the 1 in there to demonstrate what happened to the 2 thirds type of thing. Right. So now we just solve for x. Right? How are, you, how are you going to solve this? Add 1 to both sides. And we have 2x here and 16 here. And we add it to both sides. So what do you do with the inequality side? If you add to both sides, it stays the same direction. And now what? 2 has been multiplied by x. So how do you undo multiplying by 2? You need to divide by 2 on both sides. Okay. So we get x here, and what's 16 over 2? It's 8. And if we divide both sides by a positive, what do we do with the inequality sign? It stays the same direction because you're dividing by a positive. And once again, as we explored in question 2 of this uh, worksheet, it's only when you divide by a negative that you need to change direction. Okay. Okay, so x greater than or equal to 8, can you graph that on a number line? See if you can do it real quick, I'll do it then. So 8 is here, and numbers greater than or equal to it will be 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way in this direction, okay? All the way in that direction, towards positive infinity and 8 is included as part of the solution okay so the graph is going to have a square bracket and as we explored earlier so as we explored earlier when you have less than or equal to you're going to use the square brackets because that means the number is included as part of the answer but when you have less than or just greater than the number is not included in the solution and you use your parentheses on the graph right